back to Studio Lou. It's Cindy. So I'm bringing you probably what will be my last thrift haul of this year, probably, um, because number one, it's the holidays, and number two, we are going back into lockdown here. So um, yeah, I had some donations to drop off today, and I was able to safely go into my thrift store because it was so unbelievably empty. I have no idea why, but there were maybe like three other people in the entire store the whole time I was there. So that was really, really nice actually. So I will do a super quick um, thrift haul video with you. Um, so these are linen napkins that I got because um, linen is wonderful for eco printing and they have this cute little embroidery on them. So I believe there's like six of them there. So yeah, that was a nice find. And then I also got, um, this is kind of boring, but it's just a large queen size cotton um, sheet. Same purpose, eco printing. So if you are into dyeing, eco dyeing, um, you know, collect these things when you can. Even though it's off season right now, it's winter. We can't do a whole lot of plant printing in the winter time where I live. Um, I'm going to mordant all these cloths. I have a huge stack of cloths just waiting to be mordanted. I'm going to have a big mordant day and then I'm just going to um, keep them folded and waiting for summer <laughs> so that's gonna happen <laughs> and then I got this um, package it was three dollars um, the major reason that I got it I'll show you is um, there was a Tim Holtz um, alcohol ink applicator in there so that was kind of cool um, I can always use these so yeah that and um, the beads I will probably either donate again or do something with my daughter with them and then there were flower stems um, same thing and this is sealing wax that's pretty sweet actually because um, I have a, a bunch of stamps now so I can use that sealing wax and then it looks like we have like a pack of like paper so this is just like a light violet colored paper. And then this one, it kind of looks sort of cool. It's like scraps, but like, I don't know if you can see how like shimmery, like it's like a shimmery mauve. That's a really nice paper actually. So yeah, it's like shades of purple and pink. Um, yeah, so there's I think three packs, three packs of this random scrapbook pre-cut paper so I'll make use of that for sure um what's next so it was a really good day um for like doilies <laughs> and of course I got these for using in um journal projects for different things um I also do use them for other things like embellishing, like if I'm making a handmade, um, if I'm making handmade clothing, like if I'm making some kind of a dress, I sometimes use them for a collar or something interesting. I used um, one once for like a Victorian style dress that I sewed and it looked really nice. So lots of cool doilies. Um, you know, I can never let these things just go like unloved they're, when I see them they're so pretty and like there was one though it was like $12 and it was huge it was like the size of like a queen size bed but I left it I was like come on Cindy you don't need this and then this is really cute I thought I would get it to make um to add to like a dress for my daughter it's like a whole collar and it was only three dollars it's so pretty so yeah that's the front and that's the back and it's like these things could look kind of like you know matronly or something but like I will make a really funky kind of cool dress and use that so um and then I got um some pineapple lace crochet sorry I always take these tags off because they're such a pest okay so that's just a little one, um, but it's really pretty. And um, a second one of those. 
and I just see those like sewn onto a journal cover It'd be really nice and then there's like a larger one that's kind of like it's almost shaped like a miniature shawl so I don't know what these were um created for like if they I don't know maybe sometimes people use that shape of doily. it's kind of a weird shape though to go like on a table or something but I guess if the piece of furniture is you know designed for that it would work but it's really nice and then one more oh these staples are so sharp so like concerned about getting poked <laughs> I always manage to get poked by staples they are terrible um and see then they get tangled oh staples why okay sorry guys <laughs> who invented staples there we go okay then this is like just a cute little one it's like a diamond shape that's made from silk and then this one, oh, is this another staple? Okay, these people love staples. Why? I swear, there's something about the people who package thrift goods where they either want to like injure you or destroy the product entirely um, in the name of like pricing something that is such a low amount of money. Like I think... <laughs> in the one dollar that this bundle cost me they spent 75 cents in staples okay and that one is just really nice it's like rectangular and then this is a thicker like crochet cotton but yeah that's my my doily haul oh no we have one more sorry one more of those strange shaped kind of ones so yeah doilies 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 let's all have a tea party. I have all these doilies. Okay. I'm actually going to stuff them right in my textile drawer while I'm here. <laughs> so that they're put away. Um, then I saw this um, box of paper and I thought how perfect this will go perfectly in the indigo journals because there's just one of these but I also really like this, so I'm actually going to take a couple pieces out and put it in the basket for the indigo journals. And um, the rest of the paper I will just put in my paper stacks and the box can go. I don't need to keep the box. Um, how thick is that cardboard actually? I could reuse it, you know? Let's reuse that box for a journal cover or something. Sorry guys, I'm just going to put this paper away while I'm here. It's always a nice thing to just put thrift goods away as soon as you get them. And then, so, you know what I should do? I should find those, do I have those loops, those big loops that I sorted the other day? Um, hold on one second. Sorry, this is kind of like a video about organization accidentally. <laughs> Because <laughs> that's what needs to happen in my life. Uh, maybe not. I have to find them. I've got these big, like, these big loop things that I want to attach my um, laces to. And I can't remember where I put them. But yeah, I you'll see why later that I'm going to need them. Because I got some laces too. <laughs> Um, so I got this book, The Nightwood by Robin Muller, and I really like the images in it. Um, some of them are just really, really nice. Really interesting. Like that, it's so pretty. And most of them kind of would go like in the indigo journal, they're that color. Um... So that's something to think about like that. That's so perfect for the indigo journals. So I may actually, yeah, I'll set that aside. I think I'll use that in the indigo journals. And then I got the classic 
treasury of children's poetry. Um, Louise Betts Egan. And this one has some cute illustrations in it as well. And it's got some nice um, stories, some nice verses. Very cute illustrations. Then I've got um, this bag of random stuff. So there is three things of this nice piping, which is really great for, well, making clothing, but also maybe for the edges of a journal. And then I got some lace and seam binding, which I always like to use um, for the, like the ties to close a journal. And then I got a little needle threader, which is fine. <laughs> I can always use more needle threaders. Okay. Then I got this. So I'm not even exactly sure what this is. Um, this 3D stop for stop. So the thrift store that I go to, there's like a really large population of German people that donate things there because there's always a lot of German books and different German stuff. So I think, I don't know, are these stickers or paper or maybe an iron on? I don't know, but they're, um, they're not a sticker. So I don't know if they go into like some kind of a, maybe they work with like a pop-up or something but like it'd be really good to just fussy cut out and put in a journal just cut them out and away you go so yeah this is like some fairy stuff and then we have mushrooms original angelica wagner 3d bogan hmm so yeah i don't know exactly oh we have some gnomes that's cute. And then like some ladies by the by a shoreline and looking in a hat store. And then um, cute mice. Daisies. Roses. And we have some frogs. Oh, those are nice mushrooms. And these ones are embossed, which is really nice. Ladybugs and flowers and leaves. These are cars. I don't think I'll do a whole lot with that. Probably just recycle that. <laughs> and then um, these numbers and um, flowers. I'd probably just use the flowers. Little bunnies and mice with poppies. And some violins. Interesting. I don't know what this is for, but um, I will use the images, definitely. Sorry. Okay, so then I found um, this keepsakes scrapbook paper and um it looks kind of interesting like some of it I would use but some of it I probably wouldn't so I would just collage over top of it but I thought some of it was pretty cool just looking to see if there's anything in here for the indigo journals So it's pretty nice, actually. And this one, I don't know what to think, but um, the lady actually didn't even charge me for it. She said that, you know, it was like, um, 
it was in the same it was like stuck to this because this backing is sticky she's like oh i'll just give it all to you for the price of one and i was like okay sure because there's some kind of glue on the bag and it's actually double-sided tape okay? <laughs> so i don't even really know what's in here i just picked it up because it looks like nice double-sided paper so i was like okay yeah so those are pretty cool And this is also double-sided. Yeah, these are neat. It's like even if some of them, like, I won't use one side, I will use the other. And then there's like a nice old grungy kind of calendar on this one. These are nice. Yeah, they're all double-sided. That's really cool. I found like all of them have like one, oh, one at least one nice side and then, you know, that's all I really need. These are cool. I'm glad I picked this up. Yeah, so it's a calendar and then pictorial alphabet. Oh, that's cool. I don't really know much about scrapbook paper. I was never into scrapbooking and... Um, I think that now that the scrapbooking trend has like kind of passed or something that as far as I know where I live, um, that's really nice. Wow. The only place to get scrapbooking paper I think that I know of is like Michael's. So yeah, there aren't like scrapbook stores anymore. I don't think. music and I love the backs of these these are really nice so very grungy kind of papers yeah really cool not what I was expecting I was sort of expecting like some kind of ugly duds or something like this kind of stuff that I would never use for anything except maybe just gluing on top of Okay, and then next I got, um, I got this chipboard. It was also in the scrapbooking section. I think that's probably what it was used for, but it's like a good big, um, bag of chipboard. So that'll be great for making, um, journal covers. And then I found this and I thought it was so cute and it's vintage and it's so adorable. I just have to get the sticker off. I'm just going to give this to my daughter, um for her uses, but I thought it was really cute, so I thought I would share it with you. I'm just going to try to get this sticker off, and again, this is another thrift stores, man, I don't know. Everything they do with stuff. Okay, so it's like a Bambi scrapbook, and it's like the old kind of style of Bambi, and so, yeah, it's still got the original, like, you know, advertising page in it, um, which I'm going to actually just right out of there because my daughter won't need that in there okay I'll actually use that for the backing on things you can always use white paper yeah so it's got like nice heavyweight like watercolor feeling photo mat paper in it so that'd be a good scrapbook for her And then I found this package of these nice um, press board file guides. So it's like the alphabet and they're really like heavy and thick. And um, yeah, I will use those definitely. And then I found this. It's like just a couple of sheets of burlap. And I figured it would be good for making like um, ephemera with, like you could cut a little piece of it here and there. Um, there's just one red sheet and one pink sheet, so. Actually, I'm working on a journal and I'll probably be able to use some of the red one in. And I'm just 
going to stuff this in my textile drawer. Just give me one minute. Oi. Okay, and then I found this book. It's The Forbidden Door by Marilee Heyer. And again, just really nice images. Like... This beautiful images. Really neat. And then I found this book, which I guess is probably in Chinese. I'm so like really bad at recognizing like kanji and like things that are written in Mandarin and like, oh, I'm just really bad at that. But so I don't know what the book necessarily is about, but I got it because it's got a lot of really great imagery in it. Just really cool everything. Like all sorts of just different styles, photographs, illustrations, like just all different kinds of content. So really cool for making journals. Um, yeah, but you get the drift. It's like, it's almost like, um, almost like, you know, a scrapbook paper kind of, but like more interesting. Look at that with the little dolls and the cabbages. So cute. Oh, I really love that. That's nice. Really nice. <laughs> That's very cool. Okay, then I found this book, which like I didn't expect to want to pick up, but it's just called Dad's Book for the old, fash old fashioned fun for the family. So, um, the first thing is I thought, looking at it, this is so, like, nice. It would be good for the Indigo Journal, maybe, as the, uh, front. But I'm not sure. It might not fit. I'd have to double-check the dimensions. Although I could always modify it. But, like, it's got all these old copies of these, um, and, like, also really cool just different stuff, all different stuff, but mostly older kind of illustration, which is really neat. Lots of kiddos and music. Yeah, so that's a really useful book. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> so cute. Animal tracks. Really, really cute book. Okay. So that's that one. Okay. Then I found this. Um just clip this $1.25 tag off of it here. This is like a journal cover that someone has made or is, I don't know, but it's really nice. So it's a lot of beautiful fabric and it's got this beautiful um, closure on it. Now, I think the reason that it was there is whoever may, might have made this, I think they just sewed this a little too short because it can't reach here. But I mean, that's fine. You could use a chain, you could use something else, right? It doesn't really matter. And then there's um, just like cardboard in here, but there's a pocket here and a pocket here, here. Like all of these are, it's like three levels of pockets on this side. And like, look at that fabric. They used all incredibly beautiful fabrics. Like I would say more expensive, like high quality fabrics. So I had to rescue it. I was like, this is so strange. Why is this like here? But I think even if you just took off, um, you just screwed that off. You could do a different kind of closure on it anyways. Like, 
I'm guessing that they just were probably making these to sell them and maybe they mass make them and it didn't, you know, meet their, you know, um, perfect standard, you know? So anyways, I'm going to do something with that eventually. And then this book, I think, is probably the uh, score of the day, maybe. All Good Things Around Us, a cookbook and guide to wild plants and herbs written by Pamela Michael, illustrated by Christabel King. So the book itself has just got a green cover, but I got it because, you know, it's botanical illustration, one of my very favorite things in the world. So... Yeah, it's got incredible illustration in it and um, also some nice, um, really nice like tips about cooking things, foraging, other uses for plants. Um, but yeah, I, I really like it. I think it's beautiful and also very useful. See purslane. Purslane, it just grows in my garden like nobody's business. It actually is taking over a little bit in my strawberry garden, and I've had to um I've had to go very hard on it, which is sad because like it's actually delicious. We eat a lot of purslane in the summer, but if you go to plant it, be very careful where you do. I recommend a pot on its own. Um completely on its own and just plant it like in a spot where you don't have it can't seed itself to so I was just looking to see if there was any indigo references in here but there aren't but yeah that's a really nice uh, book okay we're getting to the end of the books but let me just bring all this up here just to show you, it was half off day on all of these little bitsy things. So, you know what happens. And ever the, um, ever the sewer that I am, I also got this Fiskars angled ruler, which is great. And it was also half off because it was hanging on the um, little bits kind of rack. Ugh, I'll take that off later. Hmm. Okay, so let me just show you what I scored here. This is just a lot of... So basically, black lace, um, which I need for a journal that I'm currently making. That's a secret that I can't show you right now. Um, and then some nice red lace, like burgundy. And then there were all of these muted, like mauve kind of, or like almost look like they're tea dyed kind of laces. And then just lots of nice white, um, all different widths. Just, I just grabbed the really, really beautiful ones. Some of these are made from like really nice silks. There's a little tiny like hearts on this one. Um, yeah, all sorts of stuff. Like this blue with these flowers, it's so cute. And like just laces, laces galore. And then this for the Indigo Journal, I got a bunch of blue laces. Um, but yeah, there's just so much. So I need to organize laces, that's my thing now. So I'm just going to throw these back over here from whence they came, but um, yeah, big day for lace. And then I also got a couple of little sewing kits because I just, um, I like to grab sewing kits. There's always a lot of useful things. So this one has needles, thimbles. Um, these I will redonate. I cannot, I don't want any more of those. Um, <laughs> but let me just tear this open. So, yeah, needles, um, seam ripper. I can always use one of those. A thimble, a cute little, um, you know, this little tomato and strawberry, uh, and then some pins. I wanted to get a look at these scissors to see if they are any good. They are decent. 
um, snaps, safety pins, more needles, and some measuring tape. So, I'll put this in my sewing things to organize. Because that's a thing now, apparently. And then, in here... You know, for two dollars, you cannot beat these like little kits. More sewing or um, safety pins, and these. These are so cool. I love these. I need to learn more about these bobbins and why. Why are they beneficial? What are they used for? Um, this is Bernina. What could you be? Ah, a seam ripper. Cool. More little snaps more little scissors and those are nice little sharps um another thimble and a measuring tape it's almost as though like somebody made up these into little kits it's kind of cute more needles or pins rather and needles and a fretter so there is my sewing stuff to organize Then I just have a couple more books. Okay, so first we have this one that I just picked up for this nice gilding on the cover. Oh, that's the stickiest. I'm going to have to use some gooby gone on this. Oh, goodness. Mission Thrift Store and their labels. I don't know. Okay. That one is pretty bad. I see some of this water from my glass here. Because <laughs> I just want to get this off. Yuck. Um, there we go. Water. Tissue. You know, you gotta turn this off because if the glue stays there for too long, it gets harder and harder to get off. There we go. So yeah, anyways, this book is um, Zuleika Dobson, Maybe Your Bomb. I don't know. What is this book? That's nice. Zuleika Dobson, An Oxford Love Story. Ooh la la. 1911. Yeah, that's in really great shape for a 1911 book. Wow. So there's that. Um, then this book is weird. I have no idea. I just picked it up because the images are cool. So hundreds of practical tips, fascinating facts, and wicked wisdom. How to hold a crocodile, how to be, handle a hamster, become a saint. See, this is like totally, for those who know me, right up my alley because it's random knowledge. But <laughs> it's got a lot of weird stuff. And look, it's got how to count in Roman numerals. You know, I should just keep this near me at all times because when I'm looking through these old books trying to tell you what year they're from, I would have it right here, except I'd be like, okay, what I is, and I'd be doing math on camera and it would just bother people probably. But yeah, that is really funny that I flipped it open to that because I was just talking about how I forget um, a lot of my Roman numerals. Um... This is cool. How to avoid nightmares. According to a medieval herbalist, putting aniseed under your pillow will prevent nightmares. There you go, guys. No more nightmares. How to hold a rabbit. So cute. But yeah, just weird how to do random things. How to take a cutting. How to crown a souffle. How to dose a cat. Um, cross your fingers. That's the best way to dose a cat. Um, peanut butter, or not peanut butter, um, tuna. Tuna is a good way to give a pet, cat some pills. Peanut butter for dogs, for sure. But yeah, just kind of cool, random stuff. So I think, like, I need to keep this around, um, just as I'm making different, like, um, you know, themed journals. Like, this one is how to keep storms away at sea. So maybe if I was doing, like, a journal that had, like, a sea theme or something, like, watery related, that it would be good. Um, yeah, so I think it would be cool for random, like, things. 
how to read your palm, how to make compost. Anyways, I'm going to have too much fun just looking at this book. <laughs> then I got this. Um, Mrs. Sharp's Traditions, Sarah Van Brethnock. Reviving Victorian Family Celebrations of Comfort and Joy from the author of Simple Abundance. So I've seen the Simple Abundance book before. Look at this paper. Yay. Um, so I got this because of the images. It's got a lot of cool images in it, like Victorian style images. So, um, yeah, that is what I got today. So I know I didn't make a video. Did I make a video yesterday? I don't think so. I have just been busy. It is the final days to the holiday wrap up and that's what I'm doing. I have, um, you know, I have canceled my holiday visit with my family because we're going into lockdown and it's just simply not safe. Um, but we're going to have a Zoom Christmas and we're going to just like not be upset. There's no need to be. We're going to get together when this all rolls over. And you know what? It might be kind of fun to have like Christmas live um, with two little kids and just, you know, our family probably are going to find a lot of joy in that. And um, we have some family that live afar anyhow. So we're just going to make it a big Zoom and everybody's just going to hang out and have fun. So um, I probably will get at least one more video in before the holidays. But if I don't, I really hope all of you have a really fun um, holiday season and you know I know it's different this year just try to reach out however you can and you know find your friends your chosen family your family whomever and just connect with them in whatever way you can phone email you know reach out to people that you know are alone at this time and just remind them that somebody's thinking about them so um yeah on that note i hope you all have a really great evening and i will talk to you soon um all of my social media information is down below in the description box so thank you so much for watching Watching. Bye.